what's up you guys so i am in the midst of cleaning up our summerween barbecue and i kind of wanted to keep this going and i had a diy idea for a painting which i'm gonna get to and i'm thinking we're gonna go to michael's instagram reeled me in so someone just posted that michael's has their stuff although i'm in canada so it could be a total wash we're gonna go check it out but either way i need stuff to paint and i have a really cool i think way of making this happen that you would be able to do at home too but first I have another small DIY project that I want to get done that's also kind of summery. So we're gonna we're gonna summer wean it up. It's it's still summer, so I need to do some gardening. So this will kind of tie into the other day I was just randomly filming and I decided to create this like little, I don't know, like a little I'll show it to you. This little garden, which has now led into me planting jack-o'-lanterns. Because apparently there's different pumpkins that you can plant. When I shared that I was planting said jack-o'-lanterns. There was so many people from my stories that said like, oh, that could be a problem with either the deer, with the animals and whatnot. And I Googled, I had an idea that maybe I could do a raised garden. This was my DIY project the other day and I'll show you exactly how I did it. I bought some vines at a garden center. I think we were at Walmart, I bought them there. And then I had this little cardinal and I got these little cute like fairy homes at, uh, where was it, Michael's? And then I got this at Walmart also. And then I had extra carrot seeds and I just planted them here. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. I mean, it's nothing crazy. And then I got these little fairy pieces also and these extra little steps. So I kind of just wanted to create a little fairy garden. While I was doing this, I planted the jack-o'-lanterns. And then I thought, why not get a raised garden bed. I had one at the other house, I loved it. One for the jack-o'-lanterns, for the pumpkins, and then another one for, I planted tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers. So I was thinking about doing that in a secondary raised garden bed. So I kind of let them thrive in their own little, our Halloween party is still up there and I'm working in here. So super windy day, but super nice summer day. So I'm thinking, so I did a bit of gardening, I let the seeds from the jack-o'-lanterns sprout and then I'm gonna transfer them into like garden soil in the raised planter. I have to build the raised planter also. So that's what's gonna happen and then we're gonna make our way to Michael's I think, hopefully. Close your eyes Get some rest Lay your head on my chest I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gone I just need to say that I am so grateful for this breeze. It might be windy on the camera, I'm so sorry. If it would have been a hot sunny day, I think I would have died building that thing, but success. I love that I put the little skeleton hand in there. So super successful. I did do these little labels, I wanted to acknowledge this. So I bought these cute metal labels on Amazon, like a huge pack of them, they're super cheap. I think I got like black metal, but then I was like, I can't just write on it with a Sharpie. So I bought a little engraving pen and it worked out super well. So I labeled all my garden stuff and then I also labeled where I planted the balsam tree right there. I mean, it would take you, but I'm wearing slippers. So balsam is right out the side of the house. Noble is in the back of the house. Douglas is in the front of the house and they're all labeled in the garden too. So my carrots are thriving that I planted the other day. I put them in these. They will be transferred into the big 
I'm gonna buy a second one because this was a total success. Cucumbers are here and they're doing so well. I think they need some water though. Tomatoes are doing okay, but I did buy a, um, what do you call, I'm learning, okay? Like I'm a total amateur and I understand that, but there's only one way to learn. Also, also, speaking of learning, I got this app called Picture This. If you have a better app, please share it with me. So the idea is that you take a picture of the plant and it'll tell you if it's thriving or not and what to do and how to take care of it. Here's the issue. It thinks that this is a cucumber and it's not because you can literally, it, I panicked for a second. You can see the pumpkin seeds. So they are thriving from the day that I planted them. Um, I put them in some garden soil, watered them very well. I added a little bit of fertilizer because hopefully that makes a difference. Um, and then the day that I was gardening out here, we also did this. Look how pretty. We, this was nothing before. It was just like, I don't know, moss. So we created a couple rock gardens with some flowers. Very pretty. And then we are going to get a couple of, so funny, Canadians call them Muskoka chairs. Americans call them Adirondack chairs. What do you call them? We're going to get some Muskoka Adirondack chairs and we're thinking, and I want your help. I'll pop it up on the screen. Either like a hunter green, because we love green, or like a dark brown. I mean, you get like neon orange if you want to. I think the previous owners had like bright red. I don't want that. I kind of just want it to blend with the scenery. But look how pretty. Oh, and we have a really cool project happening. So we're going to turn this right here into like a gate that can open. I think we're going to do this one. for It's for Andre. It's not for me. It'll open. It'll have a latch on this side. And then his golf mat that I got him for, I believe it was our anniversary slash Valentine's with the biodegradable balls and he can shoot them right off of here. Now, why the deck you ask instead of down there personally i don't know but i do know like i would just go down there but i know that he will use it more if it's here because he's just come right out here so we shall see i'll talk to him though so yeah beautiful day we're gonna head to michael's it's happening i can't not go and here's what happens with michael's if you wait too long yes they the stuff will be on sale but there won't be any stuff that's on sale that's it, it's like it all sells out so I at least want to go see because here's what I'm thinking as one of the videos. I want to do more DIYs and I'm, we're going to do summer stuff also, which I mean, we kind of just did. We're going to go paddle boarding. We're going to do summer stuff, which, oh, can I address this? Summerween, by the way, is like a mid-year celebration, kind of like um, Christmas in July. I'm not decorating early, so nobody panic. There was a couple of people that were really just feeling the feels. Let's water before I, is that my mother? Oh, it's my brother. My whole family was involved in my... I called my dad. I'm like, you should have taught me how to use a drill as a child. I don't know what I'm doing. So I called my brother and he's like, your drill is garbage. That's why it's not working. I was like, but it's pink. He's like, that's why I don't buy pink drills was the lesson of the day. So he told me which drill to buy. I did my best. It's fine. And I showed my mom my pumpkins and she's very proud. Anyways, I was thinking of making one of the videos like a deep clean of my bins. And there's so much stuff that's accumulated over the years. And honestly, there's like a lot of knickknacks and things that I don't feel like I want anymore or that even go with the house. And also out with the old, in with the new, time to do some DIYs. And if we're gonna get fresh stuff, then we better be clearing out some old stuff. So I was thinking about making that a video. Maybe that's just me rationalizing going to Michael's, but do what you gotta do. So we're gonna head into town. I'm gonna get dressed into something not country. Troll under a bridge looking, and then we're gonna continue our journey. This is a good song. Michaels, as you saw, they were putting it out on the floor. So 
I had saw, I, this, Instagram's terrible for this. It's like they give you the heads up that things are being put out in the store and then you get excited and then you go buy things. Enter these. But here's my, this is my new kind of rule with this house is anytime that something comes in, things have to get donated or taken out. So here's what happened. I have now been decorating for Halloween and like let's just remember the, a time when Angie was like, oh, I hate Halloween. I don't like orange. I don't like ghosts and goblins and ghouls. I remember I said ghouls. Like what's, what's a ghoul, Angie? For a really long time, I did not like Halloween. I know, <laughs> shocking. There's creepy Carl again. I didn't and it was because of the colors. I shared this in a recent video. I don't like orange. I didn't like the like, ghouls and the ugh, ugh. I didn't love it. I like the creepy cute. That's <sighs> Let this be a lesson to us all. Angie can say things on the internet and then change her mind and it might become magical because I love Halloween and I love orange, but these are so cute. So here's what happened. Um, because I've, ha I've been collecting just pillows and things over the past eight, is it gonna be nine years, eight years? We're, I mean, we're coming up on a lot of not so scary parties. Things get like dusty. And what I've noticed is almost like mildewy smell because they're like confined in a bin. So this year what I'm gonna do, and I actually wanna make this a video and I kind of mentioned this throughout this video. I wanna do, well, it's just, it's real life. He's doing it on purpose. He's, a right? Do you not think he's doing it on purpose? He's, he's doing it on purpose for sure. Bye guys. See you later. So I want to do a deep clean of my bins, kind of like throw out, well, I'm not going to throw anything out that's good. I want to donate a bunch of stuff. I have like a couple people in mind that would probably be like really excited to get some new decor. I, I bought these cryovac, like really cool. Like you just put like a vacuum in the thing or you, it comes with a pump too. And then you can like vacuum seal the pillows. So I'm going to do that this year with the blanket stuff. I'm washing actually the blankets that I filmed for the, I point in there for the movie party, like the hall, the summerween movie party or movie night. It just like, it gets like really dusty. And I actually noticed I was like sneezing and my eyes were watering whenever I was filming that. So either you need new stuff or you need to wash your stuff. Cause it's like, it's too much. So I'm going to toss out some things, donate clean and just kind of like wash down my bins and do a deep clean of my Halloween stuff. Cause it's been many years. And the one thing that I'm not purging is my decor other than the stuff that I'm donating. But that's where I have excess and I totally understand that. So this was waiting for me. I also got a couple deliveries. So I was drinking from this earlier, but I didn't even acknowledge it and share it. It is my new favorite cuppy ever. And yes, it matches my shirt. I've never had a launch that I'm like so obsessed with. So this just came in. This is my new mug. That's gonna be my mug of choice there. It's 15 ounces, so it's like a good size. And it just, it's, they're, they're all like the snack ones. There's a couple of different variations. Oh, I'll grab my mouse pad and show you the other one. So this one is, I'm gonna wear this for sure. It's like a distressed cap. It says make life magical. And there's the little pineapple whip and the cotton candy. And then this one has the snacks on it. And this one's also, isn't it so cute? I've been wearing hats a lot, especially when I'm gardening. Who am I gardening? And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. So this, I grabbed this at the grocery store at the market when we were there the other day. And I'm going to plant this in the second raised planter bed, which I'm gonna go buy that right now. And it was on sale when I bought the planter bed. So I'll link that for you guys, but strawberries are gonna happen. It's like a childhood thing for me. I had strawberries planted in our garden when I was a kid. Michael's was awesome. So the two pillows, nothing's on sale, but it's not gonna be available. These were on clearance and they were super cute. I know why they're on clearance though, cause you can't hang them from anything, but I thought it'd be cute as decoration. I only got one, it was like five bucks. And then I bought this for my DIY. Now let's address this. The DIY, I'm gonna show you some of the, the items. It needs to be its own video because it's gonna take me so long to do that DIY. It needs to be its own thing. So what I'll do is if you're watching this in real time, it's gonna be the next video. If you're not, I'll link it down below. But it's basically a full, like, I really wanted to buy a paint by numbers and they're kind of expensive. And also I don't trust, I don't trust these companies that I'm finding in like my Pinterest and Instagram ads because I don't know if they're legit. So I figured out a way to do my own paint by numbers, like really inexpensive. And then I got these little, I mean, I got a lot, but I can keep them this way. But I got these little jars. They're like super cheap. You can probably get these at the dollar store, honestly. I just got these off of Amazon, but I'm gonna number them. I'm just gonna use some Daily Grind stickers probably. You wanna see? And label the tops for each color as I'm doing it. But I'll take you through that in a full video. It's gonna be its own video because I feel like this is a thing of its own with our little. Do you wanna see these? Look, did you see this? It's new. Can you smell? 
It's fresh, it's fresh in your house. For Summerween. Oh, we have to talk about Michaels. So the collection at Michaels was amazing. Actually perfect for Summerween. It's giving like 60s, 70s, pink, like a corally bright orange. Oh my gosh, there's a thunderstorm coming. But it wasn't very Angie and it wasn't true to me like these were but I don't have pink. I mean, you know what? Eight years ago, Angie would have loved it. She would have loved it. So I was sitting there debating, like, do I get it for Summerween? No, we held back. So we'll just wait. But yeah, it was exciting. There was really good stuff. <gasps> it's exactly what I thought it is and it's better. So you guys know how Carl loves this floor pillow that I made him at Christmas and he still uses it, the green clad one, it's in the other room. We have one for the Make Life Magical launch and you haven't seen this pattern yet, I don't think, unless you've seen it on our Instagram page. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So it says, imagination, world traveler, ride, drinks, and imagine, wait, yeah. Imagine, food, drinks, ride, world traveler. With the blue, Carl, this is for you, my love. Do you wanna see it? Here you go, you wanna go? It's like your other bed. What do you think? Success. So this is our full summer. We've never really done summer merch. Oh, that's way better. I'm taking your seat. This is the fairy tale one. So I love home and then carriage, glass slipper, magic dust accessory. And this one's on green, so cute. I think the snacks is my, this is the best cup I've ever owned. And I ordered this one, like the world traveler one in, um, I think this one's gonna be called imagination, yeah. I ordered it in this cup also. Like I, best collection I've ever done, hands down. Um, and little house update that I didn't show you. I talked about this sled as a concept and we made one. And I ordered this pillow, like I gave the dimensions and I ordered it from Amazon and it turned out so good. I love it. So now I think we're just gonna do a huge mirror. We're gonna do a new lamp and we're actually, so the meeting happened. We are going to reno all this floor into the kitchen. This is gonna become all kitchen and I'll pop up a couple inspo pictures. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a video to come. And we're gonna do the powder room also. Our powder room, yeah, have you ever even seen it? Maybe in the empty house tour. This is the powder room. It's very cute. So, I mean, it's like charming. Um, I'll show you the concept for what we wanna do for it. So right now it's red, which we're not gonna do. Okay, let me see if Bertha's out there. I'm putting this on. I feel like this is perfect for right now. Bertha was not having it, so we're gonna give her her space. And I don't really care if I don't look cute, it's functional. We have a couple, I'll just take you guys outside with us because to continue the DIYs, I had filmed other DIYs the other day, which I wanted to include. So gardening, I mean, this is just gonna be like gardening DIYs with a touch of summer weenness. So I got, we don't wanna do like a big situation of lighting yet yet this is way more affordable um so these come in a six pack on amazon and i wanted to i did them in the trees out back and they're super nice i can't wait till we have like more light in here but the bench looks good right no, with a big mirror if you guys have a mirror suggestion and we don't have our house here we just heard very aggressive sounds coming from the forest. It's fine if it's just him and I, but I don't want him to be lunch meat. It was like two animals were fighting, like big animals. I don't know what the noise was. So we're just kind of pointing them upwards at the different trees. You just gotta make sure that they're not in like a shaded spot. That's kind of the trick with it. I think something got scared by the neighbor's dog, yeah. I, to me, I think it was a deer that was annoyed because that's where Donna lives up there. Yeah, could be. Donna's not our neighbor, she's a deer. <laughs> we name all the animals. So this was my DIY from the other day, Shop I sealed. Here. Yeah, I got a two pack of these and they were super inexpensive, but they're heavy. Um, and then I, I patched them up and I sealed them. Isn't it amazing? Like she was able to build like a thing on one spot and know that that was safe. So, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill this with water and it's gonna sit on top of this whiskey barrel. And then we have a half whiskey barrel there. They're like old barrels. That one's gonna have flowers in it. This one, I thought it'd be really cool to create like a solar water fountain. Super easy to do filling with water and then there's this like floaty thing that I got that it lights up at night too which is cool and it'll just trickle water and then this is perfect we'll go water the flowers and then I'll finish this up oh they're thriving they're doing good so we planted these also to block the propane tank wow the tree that fell holy crap 
so three fell, one fell this way, one fell this way, and this fell all the way. Dang. Yo. So we got two of these and I, you attach the straws. You don't have to have the straws on. This is how this came. So it's supposed to be a planter. I want it as a bowl, but if you buy a garden bowl, they're so freaking expensive. So this is basically what I did. Gorilla glue for the wind. So Gorilla tape and then this stuff, which I had this patch and seal stuff from when I bought a pool in 2020, like an inflatable pool and it kept leaking. You might remember those times. So this stuff just has to dry for 24 hours, but it works really freaking well. Right? Nice. So this is kind of like what you would see walking up. And I think the more sunshine it gets, like that's that thing has been in the dark, but the more sunshine it gets, the better it does. Okay, this is so good. DIY done. And then yeah, the hummingbirds apparently love it. Like it's a bird bath also. So I'm gonna put one of these at the back of the house too. This is so cute. And yes, that's a paddle board <laughs> that we need to bring down. The other paddle board, Andre carried it all the way down for me. Mm -hmm. It was a trek. Okay, so we're gonna talk about my extracurriculars. Are we going this way or this way? Uh, either way. It's fast. This way, yeah. So my extracurriculars is paddle boarding, which I've done. A lot of people are asking about that and if I'm going to do like a summer routine, which I can, but I do have footage of me paddle boarding because I think I shared it on stories and like the first jump in the lake too. I yeah, kind of... Like your, I, summer, your summer morning routine has changed a lot since we moved out here. Yeah. Like in terms of going down by the water. How are my Douglas firs doing? That's where I planted the Douglas fir down there in the corner here. We shall see. So this is like the front garden. So yeah, this is the side of the house and the forest just kind of goes that way. So we're going to enclose this and it's going to be storage. That vase was from the last house. This is going to be storage. Um, it's usually used for wood, but the guy that um, built this house, we met him and he said that that's actually not smart to do on a log house because it just attracts carpenter ants. So don't do that. See, these are the lights we put up. So we did them here. Super good. That's amazing. So this is the garden we planted the other day. We put the lights here also. So are you thinking that we should build it up there for you? It's kind of nice down here too. That's what I was going to say. Like then you're not cutting into your... Yeah, no, I think this is fine. Okay, Mr. There's Dale. Dale, I know, listen, he is, he is fearless. Why are you making so much noise? Okay, ready? <laughs> this is going to be the one I flogged for sure. This goes into the water. And they're biodegradable balls. <laughs> before anybody says anything. That's how they make that weird noise. I didn't bring any others down. I wanna, I've never even helped. So I only you, brought three. So you do... What's this for? So this is to like mimic a rough. And this is your tea. And that's is the it fairway. Good? It's very good. <laughs> Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> Okay, well, maybe we leave it here. I feel like that's more reasonable. I don't feel like I've ever shown this. It's very nice. And I love the view that there's nothing. Long ways down though. It's just burying chestnuts everywhere. Or acorns, sorry, not chestnuts. I have Christmas on the brain. Okay, so this was super fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And yes, I realize I do this all the time. I think I have like a phobia of having things like, I don't wear turtlenecks, there's a reason. I loved our little garden DIYs. I loved our trip to Michael's. This was kind of like a summer routine meets, meets summer summerween. I will do the paint by numbers DIY in the next video just so that it can be its own entity because I think it's going to be very step by step, but I'm really excited about it. And I checked out the paint by numbers at Michael's and they were like, eh. So I think we could do a really good job. I'm excited. And this is thriving. Who am I? I'm like Disney princess that lives in the woods and just feeds all the animals and names every single one of them. I don't know who I've become. So we're going to go buy some Adirondack Muskoka chairs. Maybe green, maybe you guys tell us which, which color. And we're gonna go sit out back. That's kind of like our nightly routine. So thank you for being a part of this. More summerween videos coming your way very quickly and more DIYs and all the things. So you guys let me know down below what you wanna see. A lot of people are asking for a summer routine. We can totally do that. We can make that happen. I'm gonna clean up after myself. I'm definitely gonna deep clean my bins. We still need to deep clean our garage. This is the paddleboard. She's very pretty. We got it on clearance. Apparently nobody wants non-inflated paddle boards anymore. So it's a hard, it's a hard one, which I love. It's about cocktail hour. I'm going to go sit out back and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let this one dry without disturbing Bertha. Hey, have a good night, little girl.
It's Carl's life jacket. He's gonna come paddle boarding with me. What happened? What happened? Ah, tell me everything. How are you? I know. How are you? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Naked baby. Good? I feel like this video was all over the place and jam packed with realness and hopefully a little dribble of inspiration between the gardening, the summer ween. I'm sorry if you felt the need to go to Michael's. I feel like I passed that on. Honestly, don't do it. It's a mistake. Just, I can't help myself. Just love it so much. So I'm going to, I can just see like little particles of wrapping from building that, um, the raised garden bed. So I'm gonna vacuum this up since the vacuum's right here, but I need to find a mirror. Carl's having some water and we will see you in the next Summerween video very soon. Thank you so much, you guys. You are amazing. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. Go follow along on Instagram. I've been posting some short form content on there too. Yay. And I will see you guys probably very, very soon. Bye dudes. Oh, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies fade too.